My name is Olivia from HeartStation.org, and I received an email from one of my visitors on how to equip panel slots. So I'm making this tutorial to help out people who maybe they don't understand Japanese or they only stand on a little bit and are having trouble figuring it out. I'll start off by introducing the different types of panels. We have items, level ups and backpacks, magic, abilities, keyblades, accessories, and synthesizable panels like moonstones and recipes and those sort of things. They can't be equipped, so you're not going to worry about them when equipping your grid. I like to start out with level panels since there's going to be the most of them used, and they can come in strange shapes like this. The level 2 plus panels will increase your level up panel times two. So normally you equip one, your level only goes up one, but if you link it to a level two panel, it becomes an up, a plus two. So instead of going up one, you go up two. And like I said, they come in strange shapes. So since your grid is going to be built around them, you want to place them in the best spots. I'm going to move it down here. And then equip all my level ups into it since they double up instead of bringing me to level 9 they'll bring me to level 19 much more useful next I like to equip my keyboard you'll notice there's different types of gears some of them have a little symbol next to them indicating the number of extra slots you can have like this is a skill gear on its own will equip a certain type of keyblade, but you can't add anything to it or increase the stats of it, so you're not going to use it. If you have a skill gear plus two, you can add an extra panel into this slot and increase your keyblade's power or magic or whatever. We're not going to use either one of those though. Today we're going to use the elegant gear plus four, since that's my best one right now. You can increase your keyblades stats by equipping unit panels indicated by the L. This is ability, power, magic. Next I like to equip magic since like the level panels and the keyblade they can come in odd shapes and take up a lot of room. Things like items, abilities, and accessories usually are single panel slots. Not all abilities are, but most of them are, and they don't take up a lot of space. So I like to do those last so you can fill in the holes you make while you're building your grid. To explain your magic panels, you have basic attacks like fire, fire, arrow, cure. And then you have magic level 2 plus or magic times 2 plus, indicated by these things. Level 2 plus will increase your magic level. So instead of doing a, a regular cure attack, your cure is increased, you heal more, it's much better. Same with other attacks like fire, fire, arrow. Things like this one, where it doesn't say level 2, indicates a multiply. So if I have a 3 times panel and I slip in a fire panel, it'll increase my number of fire attacks, but it won't increase the level. So I can cast fire 3 times with this panel, but it will be it'll be weak, it won't be a level up panel like the ones that say level 2 on them. So I'm not going to use those. Next, I'm going to equip my accessory. We're going to use a fencer ring. And then we're going to do abilities. I like to equip as much as I can as long as I have room, so. Do a reflect guard. Not all of them are single panel slots, like reflect guard. It'll be indicated right here. And you'll know you'll be able to add panels if they have an L by them. L panels can't equip on their own. They're only like additives. They'll only add to something that has room for extra slots. So they're reflect guard with a guard up guard up 
glue together. But if I had like air slide and tried to equip a guard up into it, it won't work. But an air up will. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Actually, I'm gonna move it over here. And then I have room to fill in my extra abilities. I don't want to take a dodge roll. Slide rush, door roll, and roll the wall. Don't forget my accessory. Okay, so I have five empty panels. This leaves me room for my items. I do mega potions. Ether and a high potion. And there you have it. I find that you doing level panels first helps get your grid going because it takes up the most space and you can build around it. And um makes it easier so your grid's not messy, you know where everything is. After each mission you usually gain an extra slot, so I rebuild my grid after every mission. Plus you get new panels and you want to try them out or it's the best way to experiment. I hope that you've enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me or visit my blog at heartstation.org. It's just one word. You can check it out for the latest news. And if you have any questions and translations, anything like that, please feel free to email me. And thank you for watching.